Hi, we're back here with Rob Edwards. He is the Community Service Director for Missoula Asian Services. Missoula Asian Services is a partnership that... Uh, uh, we promote the independence, and dignity, and health, health of older adults and, adults and those who, who care, care for them. them. All right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You've almost got it as well as our staff know, does. Right? I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> right. And um, we were here to talk about uh, Medicare Part D. Medicare, Medicare Part D and Medicare Advantage Open Enrollment Period, yep. which started on uh, October 15th and is running through December 7th. And what does that mean for our aging population? Sure. For our population uh, who are on Medicare, Part D and Medicare Advantage are the pieces that take care of their prescription drugs. Every year those formularies can change, the plans can change, and it's a really good idea for everybody to come in and have a check to make sure that they're on the plan that's the most affordable for them. Right, and so affordability. So what are some of the benefits of um, reevaluating your prescriptions? Sure. So one of the big things that happens every year is the, uh, the drug plans have the ability to change their formulary. Formulary tells what level they're going to cover their drugs at. Every year they can change that and you can see huge differences uh, for their billing costs. We've seen people save uh, up to ten to $20,000 in a year by changing drug plans. And they can only really do it, for most cases, there are special exceptions, but most people can only change during this open enrollment period. Cool. So um, what are uh, some of the advantages of uh, changing? your Medicare plan? Well, really a lot of it is in cost savings. Uh, but in the appointment with uh, one of our resource specialists or one of our volunteers, what they'll go over with you is what medications you're on, uh, which ones are covered at different levels, as well as what pharmacies might be able to provide a better cost depending on the blood drug plan. Some may be a preferred in-network cost and it may cost you a lot less to go one place. I did my mother's uh, Part D the other day and the difference between two different pharmacies located less than a mile apart was going to be about $600 a year. Wow. So just something small like that. The other thing is our, our uh, folks that are doing these plan finder uh, interviews and doing the checkups for everybody are able to give you some advice on some maybe some extra help that you can get for lower income or a drug program that might help cover those costs for you. Yeah. Well, I mean, like there's a lot of uh, benefits here in the city of Missoula that a lot of people just don't know about. There's a lot of uh, places and a lot of things, especially Missoula Agent Services. So, you know, 55 and older, over. Depends on the program. Right. Uh, we have some of our programs, uh, Senior Corps, some of our volunteer programs that start at 55. Uh, some of our programs like Meals on Wheels are 60 and over. So it really depends on the program, yep. but uh, we can find a way to help uh, just about anybody who needs help. Yep. Uh, no Wrong Door is our philosophy at Missoula Aging Services. If we can't help you, we can certainly find a place that can. Yep. And we try to let people know that they are welcome to come see us. We're uh, all we, we're open uh, 8 to 5, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, 728-7682. Uh, get you to our call center, live staffed all the time, you won't get a recording, and you'll get some people there that'll answer the phone that might be able to help you with one stop. Nice. And uh, like you said, um, this is a, uh, a meeting, so you, you have to establish an appointment Correct. to meet with one of the staff members. There's a lot of people that work at Missoula Aid Services. We have a large staff. We do only have about seven people that do these Part D appointments. Uh, it's very specialized and they have to be trained by the state uh, to do these appointments. Uh, we are filling up fast. Uh, the appointments go until uh, December 7th and right now last open appointment I saw starts, I think the soonest one we have might start right in the second to last week in November. Wow. So it's, it's a high demand. Uh, get in as we can because we do run out of appointments every year. Uh, we will have a uh, seminar late in there in December to help people who didn't weren't able to get plans uh, able to get appointments with us to help them take care of their stuff as well yeah. but these one-on-one -on -one appointments are much stronger yep and so speaking of these appointments mm -hmm. you said that they take at least an hour to get usually about an hour uh, Medicare Advantage is another side of it it's a different kind of Medicare program uh, those can take up to two hours depending on what we're doing and also if you have husband and wife or two people two hours is usually a, a good bet uh, our resource specialists and volunteers are trained to provide pretty in-depth, detailed service, and we don't like to rush through these kind of things. Nice. All right, so once again, where can people find more information about this? They can call us at 728-7682. They'll get our call center, and they can take care of uh, getting you set up for an appointment and uh, tell you which, which time, which thing will work, and we'll get you set up. Awesome. Thanks, Rob. All right, thank you. All right.